let's talk about t distribution and the t test and let's work out why the t test perhaps follows the distribution uh, of the t value that you get on a sample follows the distribution that is called as t distribution okay so basically we would look at t distribution and then we would basically look at how why the t test statistics follows this distribution okay these are the two points that we are looking at uh, in this part uh, see let's uh, look at what t is okay we know what t random variable is so the random variable t is equal to z right z upon square root of chi square upon k right this is what t random variable is this t random variable is at k degrees of freedom right so this is the t random variable if i uh, this random variable t follows a specific distribution called as t distribution the t distribution is f of t the distribution function of t is equal to it can be stated as gamma we are familiar with a gamma function uh, because we have done gamma function in probability uh, nu plus 1 upon 2 divided by square root of pi nu gamma nu upon 2 multiplied by 1 plus t square nu rest to negative uh, nu plus 1 upon 2 okay this is what the uh, t distribution is obviously t is a continuous random variable so t will follow this distribution for t negative infinity is smaller than t is smaller than positive infinity so t would lie t would take a value t would take any value between negative infinity to positive infinity and the area under the distribution is computed by this function area under the t is computed by using this function so if this is a t distribution say at sorry nu is equal to 30 that is degrees of freedom of this uh, distribution is equal to 30 then if i want to know what is the probability of getting a t of say 1.96 and above if I want to know that what is the probability what is the probability that uh, 1 point t is greater than 1.96 this question can be answered this question can be answered by this distribution function right so you have t random variable which is following this distribution function and this but this would help us computing probability associated with a t value t will take a value between negative infinity to positive infinity and we can compute probability that t is greater than a specific value or we can also compute a probability that a is smaller than t is smaller than b where a and b are any two values uh, uh, or any two real numbers right so this is what we can do right so now uh, what are the components gamma is a gamma function nu is the degrees of freedom of the t distribution pi is a universal constant and t is the value of t random variable right so for any given value you can compute the area under 
the distribution. We are aware that we can compute the area under distribution for normal distribution. Similarly, we can do it for any other distribution given uh, the fact that we know the distribution function. Okay. Uh, now, once this idea is understood, we move ahead and try and understand a next idea. This idea is associated with. Uh, this idea is associated with sampling distribution. Okay, so this is t random variable, this is t distribution function. The next thing is sampling distribution of me. Okay, so how do we basically see? Uh, uh, I'm actually not going at the sampling distribution of mean, we'll discuss it later again. But uh, say, suppose there's a population. Okay, there's a population. which has mean mu and variance sigma square obviously standard deviation sigma okay and suppose you draw lot of samples from this population and for each of the sample you compute the uh, mean so you will have x bar 1 x bar 2 and so on x bar k we will have large number of such x bars right we also know that the mean of these means would be mu, right? Because sample mean is a uh, unbiased estimator of population mean mu. So expectation of sample mean is population's mean, right? So suppose if I take uh, x bar, if I do something like say these are my x bars, and suppose I do x bar minus mu. So this will have this this will have a mean mu, right? This will have mean mu. This distribution will have mean. Uh, expectation of x bars would be mu. Variance of x bar would be uh, sigma square upon n, right? Sigma square upon n. Now, if this is the variance of uh, the uh, distribution of x bars and this is the mean of the x bars then x bar minus its mean divided by divided by the square root of the variance that is square root of sigma square upon n will be this is simple x minus x bar upon sigma is z right right so i rewrite it as x bar minus mu upon i take a square root of sigma square would be sigma upon square root of n right so this is what z is now to compute z this way for sampling distribution of mean i need a knowledge of sigma right if I don't have a sigma, if I don't know the sigma, I only have x bar and s, that is samples mean and samples variance known, then I replace this formula by x bar minus mu upon s upon square root of n. Right? Now this can't be z. This can't be Z because Z requires the knowledge of population's variance and population standard deviation. So this can't be Z. Then what is this? This is T distribution. This is a T random variable, not T distribution. This would follow T distribution. So this is a T random variable. This is how you get the T random variable. Right? So uh, if, what, what we are doing is we are replacing sigma by its sample estimate. We are replacing sigma by its sample estimate. 